Hello everyone and welcome to another video review by Smith Peak Geek. I'll be talking about the book by the name of Treasure Island. The author is Robert Louis Stevenson. I recently made an Instagram video about this if you're curious. This is a rather worn copy of the book. I've had this book for several years now and decided to dig into it. I recently finished the uh, show that's available on both Hulu and Star by the name of Black Sails. Serves as a sort of prequel to this book, and I thought, well, now that I've finished uh, the four seasons and the finale of Black Sails, why not dive into Treasure Island and see where these characters originally began? Um, so overall, what's this book about? Well, this is an acclaimed classic that a lot of people obviously enjoy, and a lot of people know. I just had, ne had never got around to reading it. It's pretty much about this kid with the name of Jim or James Hawkins, and he comes across a map. I don't want to say too much to spoil it for people who haven't seen it. He comes across a map that supposedly has the details of a notorious pirate by the name of Captain Flint and Captain Flint's treasure. So him and a band of some people he knows group up with Long John Silver and some of Silver's pirates, and they go out and look for this treasure on a skeleton island. And numerous things happen, mutiny, death, and that's kind of the gist of the uh, plot and story. But uh, what do I think of the book overall? This is one of those tales that you can't really go wrong. It's a timeless uh, sort of action-adventure tale that you really can't go wrong with, it, as I said earlier. Uh, one of the coolest things about it, probably, is the character of Jim or James Hawkins. He is a character that we all strive to be like, a character of great courage, a character of both not only great courage, but great bravery also, as he tries to outsmart the uh, the pirates such as Israel Hands and Long John Silver and stuff like that. It's really cool seeing him uh, just kind of outsmart them and the different things that he does to the ship and you know the, you know finding the treasure and stuff like that. Of course, if you read the story, major spoiler of the head, he's not the one who actually comes across the treasure first. You'll find that out once you read the story. But uh, and the character of Long John Silver is also very uh, interesting. I believe he's probably a favorite amongst people who have read the book. He's a very mysterious character. You don't know whether you can fully trust him at times. He comes across as both good and bad, very ambiguous. There's a lot of ambiguity to the character, and he's just very mysterious, and he's just really interesting. I think one of the reasons I really enjoyed it was uh, that I watched Black Sails recently, so it got me kind of in that adventure, sort of Pirate's Island sort of mood, and it was kind of curious to see you know, interesting to see where these characters go after, even though, yes, Black Sails, is a, it's a different story, it's a different deal, it's kind of interesting to see where these characters could possibly go after the events of Black Sails and where they wind up and stuff like that. And it's really interesting to see the characters of Black Sails in a different light. You know, Captain Flint, or, and, you know, is supposedly dead in this, and his, you know, so his presence almost kind of haunts this novel and stuff like that. Uh, Long John Silver you know, was a favorite character of mine in Black Sails, and once again, kind of a favorite in the book now is Treasure Island. Overall, a, a short read. You, this is the kind of book that you'll really enjoy reading, and you could really finish it overnight because it's just so short. But it's one of those ones, very fast-paced, lots of action, never slows down, and overall, just a very enjoyable book. But once again, Thanks for watching another video review by Centipede Geek, and as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below.